Ernest, a lot of players talk about how talented and gifted you are. What what do you feel you need to do within your game, you know, to break through to that sort of next level? Well, I'm doing it now. I think I change. Uh, I got a new coach, a new fitness coach. I'm working much more than I did uh, all last year. Practicing better, more. I think the right way, you know, and that's that's the point for me to to keep on. Uh, Practicing and to keep uh, steady all the season, you know, so because last season was uh, like up and down. Just practicing only really good, then I don't know, I had a knee problem, I didn't practice, then I went to a tournament, I lost first round, I didn't know what to do, so I was like pretty much jumping around places, practice sites, and whatever, with, with no system at all, you know, and now I think I found a pretty good system with my coaches, they're experienced guys, you know, and uh, I think if I keep on working like this, the results will come. I mean, it was I haven't made uh, semis for for like two, three, three years. Now I made it last week. I'm feeling good here. You know, physically I feel good. I mean, I still have to get my timing to to get outdoor, but it's just going better. You know, if I don't make some stupid things during the season, then it will work out. It seems like a matter of maturity, and it's like you're ready to like say, hey. I could be a top 10 tennis player, I just have to like put it all together mentally and physically. I think more uh, more of, yeah, I think game-wise I'm pretty ready to, to play with, with uh, anybody, but just that, uh, that, yeah, mentally and physically I wasn't ready. I wasn't uh, coming to many matches ready to play three sets or five sets, you know, I wasn't uh, fit enough. Wasn't focused enough, so I think if I if I get it right, then uh, then I can play with anybody, and the results will come. You know. You seem to play, you know, amazingly from the baseline, but you don't want to come up to net too much. You, is that something you're going to work on coming up to net more? Yeah, my wall is terrible now. Yeah. I mean, I'm working on it, but you don't look very, you don't look all you don't look very comfortable up there. Do you? I don't look comfortable. I don't. I don't feel comfortable. Yeah. Your forehand volley was a couple of times. Here. Yeah, I mean, I can only drop shot volley. That's a uh, good feeling for it, and that's it. I can't pl place it long. I don't know. It's strange. But I, I'll work on it. Right. Who's, your Who, who's your cut? Gumi. Adam oh, Gumi. Okay. He used to play here a lot. Who did you like to watch when you were growing up? Players? Was there anyone that really... No, not really? I, I didn't watch tennis. I was into other stuff. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of... Watching sports, I like to play them. I'm not, uh, I'm not into scores. I lose a tournament. I didn't know until yesterday who won, where you were at. I don't really care. You know, I, I'm, I'm there. I'm playing the tournament. And if I lose, that's it. Next, <laughs> next, next stop. I go. Indian Wells after this. Is Indian that... Wells after this. After this, I go to Buenos Aires to oh. practice with uh, Hernan. And then, uh, and, and then uh, Indian Wells. I think Gumi had a good tournament here once. Did he say anything? Yeah. Did he like go really far here, Sennis? Yeah. Yeah. So do you find that you, that that's a unique kind of perspective? I just like to play it. I don't care what happens. It, it, is that across the board, all sports? There's no sport you like to watch? I like to watch NBA playoffs, uh -huh. World Cup, football, when, uh, when uh, I don't know, Russia plays or... Or hockey, I like. I, I like to watch sometimes, but I'm not a fan of sports that I'm gonna that I'm gonna go to every match. I'm gonna mm -hmm. look and enter in the scores. It's I don't care about it. You know, I have other other things in my mind, other interests.